Good morning. It's May 5. Happy Cinco de Mayo. So, we're check out na tayo sa ating um, hotel. And mama siya lang tayo ng konte dito sa me falls. Pero dito lang sa me Buffalo, New York. Tapos um, magda drive na tayo papunta ng Ohio. Tapos dun naman tayo wag check in. Market side is a quaint little diner that serves fabulous local home cooked meals. Talk in the touristy Niagara Falls. So, nakalimutan ko mag vlog kasi nagagutom na kami. So, I got. Ang pancake. Kala ko yung dalawang pancake. Napakalit. Napakalaki pala isang plato. Tignan nyo yung kalaki. Sana maubos natin. And then they got uh, omelette. 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 Mexican omelette. Mexican omelette. Kain tayo. Isang nakakapanindig balahibo ang nangyari sa eskimitang ito. <laughs> We're done having breakfast here at Market Side and uh, pupunta na kami sa Fort Niagara which is like 12 miles away I think. So, yun lang. Let's go. <laughs> Nag-order lang kami sa Tim Hortons ng drink. I'm having mocha. Parang frappuccino lang siya. Mm. I see it in your eyes Take a walk through a slice of history at the Old Fort Niagara, which has been in existence for more than 300 years. The visitor centers offer your pollusive history and is filled with original artifacts. So ngayon, bago tayo pumunta sa mismong fort, nandito lang tayo sa museum kasi binibigyan tayo ng parang konting history kung ano yung history ba ng place na to, kung sin ano yung mga nangyari. So dito daw <laughs> The military post is located at the mouth of Niagara River, which was originally built to protect and control the access to the Great Lakes and the westward route to the heartland of the continent. The centerpiece attraction at this old outpost was the original French fortress. You'll meet reenactors in the grounds who recreate the life of the people settling at the fort hundreds of years ago. Known as a house of peace, the French castle was presented to the local Indian tribes as a trading house, chiefly as a place to exchange goods for furs, but it was intended much more for trading. The castle was equipped with facilities needed by the French troops, making them impenetrable in case of any local Indian attacks. You can find a trade room on the ground level where French and local tribes exchange their goods. They have bakery, storeroom, guard house, living quarters, an original home to about 30 French soldiers, a chapel, which is one of the earliest permanent church in western New York. The attic served as an overhanging or matriculated dormers which provided defensive position for muskets and light cannon. It's a sign for local Indian tribe attack but was unprepared for any western invasion. It has been restored today exactly as it was completed hundreds of years ago. Ayun po ang mga senior. Nagkapahinga with the junior. Time lapse lang ako dun sa may taas. And we're gonna go. I think yun lang yung makikita dito sa uh, Fort Niagara, but maganda naman siya. So, uwi na kami. Really a fantastic journey. Oh, One of the reasons kaya natalo ang French against America is because of this weather. <laughs> <laughs> mali na mali yung ano. Huwag kayo maniniwala sa mga trivia nito. Mali mali. Hindi siya nakiki, hindi siya nagbabasa. Akala nila, kalaban yun, pero kakampi nila yun. Pinabomba nila yung isa't isa. Go. So I think we're gonna go to Cleveland, Ohio. Now. So it's probably like three hour drive from uh, Niagara Falls. Full pa naman kami ngayon, so but it's already like 11 a.m. 
hindi pa kami siguro kakain. Hindi ko tayo kain, no? Yeah, kasi may marami namang magagandang kainan doon. Uh -huh. Nag-list kami kasi most sa downtown kami mismo mm. ng Cleveland. Yeah. So, talaga yung mga pasyalan or must visit doon sa Cleveland is like walking distance lang sa hotel namin. So, doon na lang kami mag-spend ng afternoon. So, nandito na kami sa downtown Cleveland after three or more than three hours. Tapos, kakain kami doon somewhere. So, dito kami kakain sa Mabel's Barbecue. Here's our order. Ang dami nga na. Ang fair. Puro meat. Protein. So, nandito na kami sa room namin. And, pinakita ko sa inyo yung quick glimpse ng ating room. Wow. Nandito kami sa space nila, Sevi, and ni Mom, she. Then dun Red kami nakatira sa so other side. Kasi Sunday ngayon, and usually yung mga mall dito, maagang nagko-close tuwing Sunday. Kaya mamamasyal kami dito sa malapit dito na mall. Actually, hindi siya mall. Parang pinupuntahan lang siya dahil sa itsura niya. Hindi siya parang typical na shopping mall. para siyang pinupuntahan dahil sa architecture, sa structure niya. And yun, dun kami pupunta. Then after that, maghanap kami ng ice cream. Sino may gusto ng ice cream? Hindi kayo nakikita. Sino may gusto ng ice cream? Hindi. Kasabi. Ano ko ba ang kanya? Ang may baby talaga. Mukha ka lalaki. Anak ka ba? So ito nga pala sa Senyor Alcalde. Uh, nandito tayo ngayon sa uh, um, downtown para siya ay mag-ano mag, siya, po-promote na i-boto siya. Inauguration na yun na. Ayun na. So andito na kami din sa The Arcade. Parang yung first floor lang yung nagpa-function. Yung second floor tsaka third floor, parang close siya. The Arcade opened its doors on May of 1890. It is the first indoor shopping center in America. The Hyatt Regency Cleveland occupies the top two floors of the atrium and the lower two floors houses retail shops, restaurants, and a food court. And so, nandito kami sa may uh, Soldiers and Sailors Monument. And parang meron lang siyang park. Oh, kayo naman. Second C. Mga kababayan ko, punta kayo dito. Dito. Hey guys. Nandito na kami sa hotel. So, nag... Hi guys. Hey. 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 Dito na kami sa may hotel. It's only... Anong oras na girl? Ratatouille. Anong oras na girl? It's 7.08, thank you. And bumili na lang kami ng mga snacks. Kasi di ba kakakain lang namin, nag-late lunch kami. Bumili kami ng cupcake, bumili kami ng mga noodles, ng mga microwavable. Sige, kain tayo. Saka mga chichiria, manood na lang kami dito. Kasi wala masyadong mapasyalan dito. It's clean, pero wala masyadong mapasyalan. Parang luma yung mga shopping mall nila. Di ba? Parang mga lumang, ewan kung di ko maitindihan. So, so, medyo scary sa ka. Madami nang umiinom and everything. We're just gonna chill here and then tomorrow we're gonna have breakfast. Hey, 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 hey. So, I'm gonna show you guys yung cupcake na binili namin. Hold on. Something sweet. Colossal cupcake siya, yung tawag. Masyado siyang pink, actually. Ang colossal cupcake. Can you open it, my love? Open na po, mama. Opening, opening. <laughs> ano? Meron tayo dito ng uh, chocolate, coconut something, red velvet, carrot, lemon, uh, salted caramel or salted caramel? Salted caramel. Then what's the other one, mga ate? Oh, I don't even know. Basta yan. Yan yung cupcake namin. Hey guys, good morning. Today is May 6 and so uwi na kami ngayon but before kami pumunta ng Chicago or pabalik ng Chicago, punta kami ng museum or doon sa West Side Market. Parang siyang mga, uh, mga stores and stuff. Basta, papakita lang namin sa inyo later. So, nakapag-breakfast na kami. Hindi na ako nag-vlog and may included na breakfast dito sa may hotel. Hey guys, so today is May 6. First stop over the West Side Market. <laughs> <laughs> Ang makikita sa West Side is mostly sa West lang. <laughs> Known as Cleveland's oldest public market, the West Side Market is home to 200 vendors offering variety of fresh meat. 
savory products, baked goods, spices, and ready-to-eat food. We are like 5 minutes from Westside Market and ito yung natunto namin yung murals ng greetings from Cleveland. Though yung other murals din namin alam kong nasan sila, hindi lang namin kung mahanap namin like around the area. Cleveland's downtown showcases growing, vibrant street art to its neighborhood. Murals add this sense of fresh breath into these tall structures. One of the most iconic murals here is the postcard-style mural by Victor Ving. The street art were scattered along the vicinity of the West Side Market. Others were quite hard to navigate. We decided to cool down at this former theater turned into a handcrafted ice cream shop. Michelle's Ice Cream takes pride at their wide variety of flavored ice cream, which also includes vegan ice cream. The whole process of ice cream making is visible through the glass window behind the parlor area. Um, kakain muna kami. Mostly kasi yung mga nandito, brewery and bar. So, yung iba late na nag-open. Tsaka hindi namin feel kumain ngayon ng, ng parang American um, cuisine. So, parang Asian kasi matagal kami hindi kumakain ng rice. Rice is life. <laughs> Punta muna tayo ng sasakyan and drive tayo doon for like 2 minutes. And that concludes our long road trip to Niagara. We hope you enjoy watching our adventure. Of course, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment down below. And we will see you on our next video. Bye! <laughs>